Hello, IOCC colleagues. My name is Eleni, and I'm filming this at La Cueva Volunteer Fire Department, where I am a chaplain and an EMT and firefighter. Um, the following technique is a technique for stress mitigation, and it's something that I've taught my fellow first responders. It's a way to access the sympathetic tone your fight and flight response by accessing the vagus nerve. This is one of the longest nerves in the body. It goes from behind the eyes, down the trachea, goes pierces through the diaphragm, and ends up in our lower internal organs, wrapped around like spaghetti. So the vagus nerve is important in decreasing sympathetic stimulation. So if we get in a situation when we're stressed out, um, whether it's regular stress every day or something traumatic that has occurred, this is a good way to keep the brain from being hijacked from the amygdala. In other words, to keep stress hormones from dumping in our system and affecting us systemically. So to do this, it's a simple technique simply done through diaphragmatic breathing. So as we take a deep breath, we lower our diaphragm down into our internal organs. And in effect, we can stimulate the vagus nerve that way. Remember, the vagus nerve goes from our brain down into and wraps around those internal organs. So we can effectively affect stimulus response by deep breathing. So when we take a deep breath and our diaphragm falls, let's do that now. Our belly's getting big, we hold that breath and then we exhale slowly. And we do that 10 times. I've taught responders to do this en route to a call. Anytime we get toned out, to have that opportunity to take a few deep breaths that centers us. It keeps us grounded in the here and now and not in the what if futures of stress. And it's a good way to start the day, quite frankly. So I will use this with prayer also. Um, breath with prayer is something that's been practiced thousands and thousands of years. Um, and we can use this to our advantage, especially now with all the stressors going on as we go about our daily day. Let's start the day with a prayer that includes deep breathing. So choose what prayer is appropriate for you and use this technique of breathing and prayer in the morning to start the day feeling balanced, connected, grounded, and ready to start the day with a whole heart. Amen.